Hey guys, what's up? It's 277. Welcome back to Satisfactory. It's picking up a bit to left off. Let's hop right into it, shall we? It's been a while, guys. Uh, hope you're doing well. And I have been exceedingly busy. Not with Satisfactory. Um, I've done a little bit, but not much. Uh, no, I've actually moved. I, if, if things sound differently for my voice and everything, it's because I'm in a diff wholly different room different acoustics from what you're used to and uh, yeah I, I, I have moved into an actual house instead of my little little condo in California I'm in Tucson now yay Modi's right over there well not not literally over there he's um, across he's a, he's a couple streets down um, but yeah the so satisfactory Whew, man we got some stuff done uh, so I went around digging for some uh, for some goodness, and by goodness, of course, I mean uh, more power shards and a couple more little, little guys. I also found a map source, and that actually helped me find uh, a couple of hard drives. Oh, so we can now learn this cool stuff. Heavy modular frame, with modular frames, that, and some concrete. What's the regular recipe for modular frames, though? Let me check. Heavy modular frame normally requires 515 steel pipes, 5 encased, and 90 screws. But this one is. Oh! Okay, so we have more regular modular frames, 10 in case, uh, and then we use some concrete instead. That's not bad. Production five, have five, 45 parts per minute. So steel is, steel ingot is normally three and three. We're using Oh, is this using steel? Oh, this is using iron ore. And it's using iron ingots. That's not bad. Take that. And I have a second one in here. We'll get that going. Let's we'll see what we get for that. That's actually pretty good. Because I have a large stockpile of iron ingots that I'm not using. And I, if I can convert that to steel directly, that'd be pretty good. Uh, okay, so uh, over here at the steel section. I decided to take some steel pipes and along with a whole bunch of wires I have setting up uh, making stators. And then over here I'm taking the rotors and the stators and making motors. And that's all I need for that particular thing. And then down, if I remember correctly, I need motors as part of this turn-in. So let's see. 500 modular frames and 150 motors, and that will unlock the next section. So 150 motors. So I might have to just pop on here and let this thing run for a while. Because eventually the stuff will make. Just it's not particularly fast. At least not right now. We have plenty of beams, though. I might end up exploring around a little bit, see if we can find another iron resource deposit, and to start setting up sections and uh, little outposts that have a whole bunch of materials just being made, like focusing on generating one particular resource type and then dumping that into a truck, and then having the truck carry the resource type over to here, and we can start, you know, dumping into the, the, uh, the system here. But uh, in the meantime, let's take that. I have 27 motors. It's not too bad. But let's see what kind of research we can get into. There are some cool things you, you can unlock. So we have tier... You have jump pads you still need to finish off. Which is 200 plates, a bunch of this. Yeah, I can turn this in. This is going to be simple. Just bam. And then I have a whole bunch of plates and goodness over here. That is just not being used. So like one, two, three of those. 
The screws are fine, but the plates. There we go. Uh, there we go. Let me turn this, all this research in. And get ourselves some stuff. We gotta tech up. We gotta keep, keep it, keep it. Gotta keep it going. Keep it going full steam. You know. Too, too sweet to be sour. Anyways, let's launch that thing off. So we can get some jump pads. Milestone reach. Buildings aimed at factory traversal, including several different categories of jump pads, can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. So the jump pad. Apparently, the jump pad will launch me in the air, the tilted jump pad will launch me sideways, and the U-Jelly launch pad, a landing pad, will catch me. Let's get some bio biofuel. Mass. Sulfur. Let's get some biomass. Take a whole bunch of it. Now let's see what we this what this thing looks like. We're gonna need I need plates, I think. Bunch of plates. Oh, cables. Not so much on the plates. Putting a lot of cables. Oh, good thing I have a whole bunch of cables. Uh huh. Alright. Let's hop outside and take a look at this U Jelly launch pad. Heh, <laughs> U Jelly? <laughs> Get it? Um, so not cool. Good thing about this whole factory and that the the four coal things is they're they're really chugging along. I mean we still haven't come close to capacity yet. Which is nice. It means a lot, you know? Alright, so now if I were to go ahead and put a U Jelly land, landing pad. And then I think I have to connect it. Ooh. It's squishy. All right, now if I had a little jump pad I need reinforced iron plates. There we go. Got a jump pad. Place this sucker right there. I go choo. And then I fall. It's kind of funny. Now, I would think this ring would be like up to the top of the jelly, so it kind of makes sense. But otherwise, it feels like you're walking, you're literally walking into it and getting your head clipped off when you, you know, go. Put these back up. You don't really need them anyways. We're not too high up. It's fine. That's cool though. That makes it nice and easy for uh, for traversing you know tall buildings. Let's see what else we could turn in. Um. Uh, well, let's check our research and see how that hard drive is coming. It is still being scanned. Two more minutes or three minutes. Okay. Uh, next is walkways. Hmm. 
These could be useful. Let's just make a whole bunch of this. Make a bunch of iron ingots. Just a whole bunch of ingots. Just a whole mess of them. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, guys. I am still tired from uh, doing... from the move. The move has been... it was nuts. Any of you guys ever consider going across country or like moving to a different state? I recommend you have plenty of time backed up so you can do whatever you need to be done. Because, uh, I'll tell you one thing, it's rough. I should have taken another, uh, some additional time off. I'll tell you that much. Because it's just been, whoo! It's been nuts. I'll tell you, it's like a seven, seven hour, seven hour trip. To go from San Diego all the way out to Tucson, and in a you know U-Haul truck, towing behind my car, and not only that, but it also cost me over a grand. So, make sure if you're moving, you uh, can afford it, and you're you're able to do it. Because I'll tell you what, it's uh. It can get very unpretty very, very quick. So, but, all in all, I'll tell you one thing. There is something to it. There's something to be said when you come home from the grocery store holding a whole bunch of groceries in your car and you pull into your garage and you just open the garage, the back door and you op you just unload unload the garage and it's amazing oh so good it's so it's little things I'm telling you it's little things that make things so much better really are full of rotors I'm gonna give you guys this I might speed you up a little bit Now I know someone mentioned that I should consider going, uh, going not to ignore Mark II and go straight to Mark III uh, conveyor belts. That's all well and good, but uh, Mark III conveyor belts are kind of—it's kind of nuts. But I guess I could do it. Technically speaking, I have everything. Put the pockets back. Okay, let's see here. So, wow, steel pipes and reinforced plates instead of that. <gasps> oh, we can get rid of coal entirely, or copper entirely. Hmm. That could be useful. We could go all the blueprint iron wire, modular frame. Oh, both well, these are really good. I don't want to do iron ingots. I don't really need to make iron copper alloy. I want to make sweet stuff, but if iron wire, I can get rid of copper entirely, just completely clear out that entire section and repurpose it for just iron, which actually might not be a bad idea. So if I do this, yeah, that would be good. Because then, this whole section here, all this, that storage thing for copper, uh, all of this, in fact, I could even go ahead and start removing from the source now. I'll let that keep rolling, because I am consuming wires right now. I can go ahead and start repurposing this, so it's going to... Oh. I'm gonna run along the edge. So I can get rid of that.
right? Now I have a whole bunch of copper ore on me, don't I? I don't? Huh, I don't. Go figure. Good, so we're not have copper ore left over. Hello, Mr. Sun. Wherever you are. Because I can take this down. And save a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, hi. I'll save a whole bunch of time. Okay. So we can get rid of the copper operation and have that just be iron. And I can take the iron... I still have one more storage unit full of iron ingots that I'm not using. I can just work that all the way over here into that section. And then that will be all I need, right? And then all this copper is being processed. I'll let it keep on being processed so I don't have to worry about refunding it. We'll dismantle all these power poles that I don't need. We're now saving on extra power. We're not powering that up anymore. Although... I should hook it to something. Hmm. Anyways. Yeah. There's plans. We'll get this down, and then we'll uh, we'll streamline the copper operation. Oh, I can even reclaim some some reinforced plates from this Mark II that I have. That'd be awesome. Look at these iron guys; they're just chugging away. <gasps> Mark II miners, maybe? No, I don't need that. I should have waited until I. Uh, Wee splurch. Huh, neat. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of this. All right. So now operations are clean, and we can go ahead and work in. Ooh, I know what to do. So we'll do this. I'll get this hooked up in here. Oh, wait, no. I need to get this up first. We'll get this set up here. So that way, when it comes down to it, I can just work the iron plates, or the iron uh, ingots right through here. In fact, I can go ahead and just use the existing infrastructure, can't I? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, what kind of excess platage do we... Oh, we don't. Right! I took it out so we could do steel here. Well, you, obviously. Make steel faster. What's wrong with you? We can do this. Watch this. Logistics, splitar. Boop to boop. There we are. Oh, that's too close, isn't it? Huh. 
Ah, so close. So close. So close. So close. That's not going to work. So I'll have to put in a frame here. Which is no big deal, right? We just do that. Then we put in the conveyor wall. And this, and this. We work this up over here. We set down the splitar. there. It's going to go to here, this is going to go to here, and this will come around to there. And now, we go ahead and set up this. gonna be good. A lot of little chopping and changing, I noticed, but it's okay. And then we'll do this. Conveyor pull stackable right here, and then connect it to that. And then a second stackable there, which will connect to the side there, and then we're going to do another stackable right there, go boop to boop, and then finally we boop the snoot. All right, and then we hop up here, take a look at our ill-gotten gains, perfect, iron ingots are coming in, let's head over here again, and let's start turning in the stuff, and while I have it, uh, that's going to go there, we're going to turn these motors in, uh, all of these wires are going to go in, this is going to go in here as well, obviously need more. So this will start emptying out. So the trick for this is we block that because we don't want ingots to go in there. And once everything's all said and done, all we need to do is just to convert uh, that. Yeah, 300. These are all wires, one, two, three, no, just two. And then upstairs I get my rotor, my motors, and I'm good to go, right? That's all I need, right? It's the motors. Oh, the factory is so big. There's so much more to do. All right, motors, 50 of them. Let's turn this in and get ourselves walkways. Oh, logistics mark three, my mistake. One, two, doot, doot, doot. Scoot and boot and doot. Bam. Milestone reach. Logistics have improved by the means of a container with increased storage capacity and enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. So, the storage container mark two hauls twice as much as a Mark 1. And the Mark 3, oh my god, it only needs that. 
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, guys. Guys. Get ready for the fun. Just high speed all the rails. Just, just, just everything going light speed. Oh my god, this is, this is, this is like when they built a monorail in Simpsons. Monorail. Ruba zoom zoom. Oh my god, this is so nuts. It's a treadmill, guys. I can't, I can't, I can't. <sighs> Jeez. Think I got a little crazy, guys? You think? Maybe? Possibly? Maybe, I think so. Anyways, I think it's good time for me to wrap here for now. So, uh, thanks everyone for joining me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. Uh, for Satisfactory. Uh, and if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. Leave a like, leave a comment, let's see kind of thing. As always, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsors, Host Havoc. If you're looking for quality Minecraft servers and more, go check out Host Havoc in the description down below. Be sure to use the referral link. I don't know why I'm clapping. Uh, in the description down below, uh, let me know who has the as the best fans. It's clearly myself. Remember, guys, uh, it is still the beginning of the month, and it is a perfect time for join Patreon. In the description, we have a link. I have a link to my Patreon. Uh, all the squad members, remember, uh, people in the squad have the Patreon. You can totally come check it out. It's totally worth it. We have a Discord. You can all chat on. We got uh, three Minecraft servers and two. Uh, non Minecraft servers, we got Ark and Seven Days to Die that we stream and record on, and it's super fun. People say that the Discord alone is worth it, but uh, don't take my word for it. Go, go check it out. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you for joining me, and I will check you all later. Bye bye!